SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we got an update out of Verizon, a network update. And this one's going to be focusing on some cutting-edge technologies that Verizon will leverage, I guess, very, very much so in the near term. And it's going to offer them an advantage compared to their competition with respect to their 5G network operations. I'll be sure to link the article for you. It'll be in the description. You guys can find it there. It's from Fierce. Monica Alvin, you guys know she's got the best coverage in the game. Love her articles and her writing. Uh, so check it out. And then ways to support the SMT also in the description to show your appreciation for the content. All right, so Verizon said that they have demonstrated a significant boost to network performance on the commercial network. Now, why is this important? Because we want commercial network improvements, right? Doing things in the lab is cool. But when they're done in the lab, that means they're still a ways off. So when they do it on the commercial network, we know that it's going to be scaling very, very soon. So they mentioned this significant boost to the network performance, as well as power efficiency improvements and the ability to support higher amounts of throughput. We know how important this is because Verizon is running a dual purpose network. Verizon has fixed wireless access, 5G home internet customers, and they have their traditional mobile network customers. So moving over to this virtualized RAN architecture, what's known as VRAN, through Samsung radio gear, as well as network core operations and so on, and different processing upgrades and new innovations in that space. Uh, I believe Intel is involved with some of their gear, uh, as well as Samsung. So all in its collective, it's allowing Verizon to increase capacity and Obviously, they're doing so over the C-band spectrum, which Verizon paid, you know, a very handsome amount for. Remember how much they spent, you know, $40, $50 billion to purchase the licenses and build to it. And that doesn't even, you know, go to mention the, the fiber investment that they're putting to, to really push and give the network juice, right? So as, as customers continue to utilize more network capacity for multiple reasons, purposes, use cases. Verizon wants to be ready for that, right? So they're just going to go ahead and build to it, go with these innovations, make their network more and more dynamic, as I've stated in the past, make it more uh, cutting edge and finding ways to make it better than their competitors. You know, and, and really all it means to us is that Verizon is dedicated to creating the nation's best network I mean, they say they want to be the best network in the world, right? So fully modernized, you know, coast to coast nation, uh, you know, all over the country. And then just have this incredible suite of features that allows them to operate super lean, super capacitive and allow them to monetize, right? That's what this is really all about at the end of the day. The customer wants a, a fantastic, reliable network experience that offers everything that they require. And then Verizon selling it and monetizing it, you know, to the, to the liking of their investors, their, their executives and, and all those, you know, those involved, you know, so this is good. You know, we often hear a lot about, you know, T-Mobile's network innovations. Quite often, sometimes I find them to be a bit overstated. Uh, I, I don't think this one should be overstated. I think this one is, is a great development. Because we know that Verizon works very closely with vendors, developers, and, you know, the companies that produce the gear. You know, the, Verizon really has kind of become the testbed and the developer carrier when it comes to things like this. Especially when it comes to VRAN, right? And they've got Samsung in their back pocket developing those technologies. And, and that's really where all this is at. Not to say that T-Mobile isn't, not to say that AT&T isn't. Uh, but I do think that when it comes to VRAN, the virtualized... Radio access networking tools, I think Verizon is out ahead in respect to this. I, you know, T-Mobile touts the standalone and all of that stuff, and I get it. And we report those things too, right? But specifically this article and this news all about the virtualized RAN operations at Verizon. All right, so what do you guys think? Like those efficiency and improvements? You like where Verizon is going with this? I kind of like the, I like the pace that we're seeing these Verizon updates with. Uh, this is good. Uh, the, I think they're doing a phenomenal job in being ready for the next generation of networking. Who knows what 2024 is going to bring, and then 25 and 26 and on. I'm excited for it. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section below. 
Well, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard.